Hello everyone, and welcome to the Big One class. For the mainnet launch. You may have heard of it many times. What exactly is the mainnet launch? Is the mainnet launch good or bad for blockchain projects? After the mainnet goes live. What will happen to the original token? Is it still valuable? Today we will understand what it means when the mainnet is online. What is the mainnet launch? The primary network is a product that will be built by some project participants. We know that before all of the systems are officially released. The issuer will conduct a large number of internal tests, and may even invite outsiders to conduct public testing to ensure that the final version of the system is safe and stable. Because of the decentralized nature of the blockchain, it is necessary to make changes on a blockchain. And the community's consensus and the efficiency of making changes are slower than in a centralized system. If the official version of the blockchain network contains significant flaws, it will undoubtedly be devastating to this blockchain. As a result, the blockchain network will run a number of tests. We call these blockchain networks used for testing testnet. When the development is finished and the test is passed, the project team will launch the blockchain's main network main net. The main network and the test network are nearly identical. But the test network belongs to the final official version. This is something on which all parties agree. What does it mean to launch on the mainnet? The mainnet is now live. Which means that the main development work has been completed and that the most critical foundation for subsequent update iterations has been established. People can also use the mainnet to see how far the project's vision, as described in the white paper, has progressed. The mainnet allows for the development of dApps, the development of an ecosystem, and the realization of commercial applications. As a result, the mainnet launch is not the end of the project, but rather a new beginning. So, what happens to the original EOSI 20 tokens once the mainnet is live? There is no doubt that once the mainnet is launched, the corresponding EOSI 20 token will have served its purpose, and the token on the mainnet will take its place. So, how do you go back and forth between the two? In general, there are two main approaches. The first is by mapping. EOS is the most common example. A snapshot will be taken on the eve of the mainnet launch to determine the number of EOC 20 EOS in the Ethereum wallet address. Following the launch of the mainnet, the same amount of EOS will be sent to the EOS account you applied for. The second step is to finish the conversion via the gateway. After the mainnet goes live, the project party will set up the gateway. And users with EOC 20 tokens will send the coins to the gateway address and the gateway will send you the token on the mainnet once the coins are received. Whether it is mapping or conversion via our gateway. Once the EOC20 token mainaton the trading platform is operational. The trading platform will assist users in converting into tokens on the mainnet without the user's own operation. Of course, the specific project is still dependent on the trading platform's announcement. The mainnet is now live indicating the birth of an independent blockchain network that will lay the groundwork for the project's subsequent ecological construction. The Big One class for today is over here. Thank you for your time. We'll see you next time.